Due to the COVID-19 Hello nurses, welcome again to our uh, online lecture and online quiz. Our topic for today is all about Nursing Practice 3 and it's all about COVID-19 pandemic. So let's begin with our situation. The number of confirmed COVID-19 cases admitted in hospitals is continuously increasing in the Philippines. Frontline healthcare workers are faced with imminent risk of getting infected. Question number one. The correct sequence of donning COVID PPE is A. Cap gloves which is the first pair gown neck cover and 95 mask eye goggles head cover and gloves which is the second pair letter b cap gown neck cover n95 mask the eye goggles head cover first pair of gloves and the second pair of gloves letter c n95 mask cap gloves which is the first pair gown neck cover eye goggles, head cover, and gloves, which is the second pair, and letter D, head cover, cap, gloves, which is the first pair, gown, neck cover, N95 mask, eye goggles, and gloves, which is the second pair. So, which of the following is in a correct sequence of donning of COVID-19 PPE? Okay, so is it letter A, letter B, letter C, or letter D? So, when donning uh, COVID-19 PPE, the correct sequence are the following. So, first, you must perform hand washing or hand hygiene first. Then, after hand washing, you must place your cup and shoe cover. Then, after placing or putting your shoe cover, you must perform again hand rubbing for 20 seconds. Then, place your inner gloves. Then, place the coverall or gown and the mask which is surgical manyan or N95 mask then after placing or putting your mask place your eye goggles and next is your head cover or your hood then ang pinakalas na ilalagay natin is yung outer gloves okay so take note that before donning of your PPE remove all external wearing such as your watches jewelry earrings bangles the pen ID cards etc na nakakabit sa katawan mo so the mask should be removed only outside your patient room. Okay, so that is the correct sequence of donning of your PPE. We have your hand washing first, then putting your cap, the shoe cover, then hand rubs, inner gloves, the gown, the surgical mask or N95 mask, the goggles, the head cover or the hood, and last is your outer gloves. Okay? So, para mas matandaan po natin yung sequence of your donning of your PPE, ang tatanda lang po natin dyan na sequence is the goma go glow. Okay, ano bang ibig sabihin ng goma go glow? Go means gown, then ma means the mask or the respirator, then go for your goggles or face shield, and glow for your gloves. Again, so mnemonics, we have your goma go glow. Okay, goma go glow for your donning of your personal protective equipments. So, for your question number one, the correct sequence of donning of your COVID PPE is letter A. You must first put on your cap, then your first pair of gloves, then gown, neck cover, N95 mask, the eye goggles, the head cover and gloves, which is the second pair. Okay? So, the correct answer here is letter A. The next question number two. The correct sequence of doffing of your COVID PPE is A. Shoe cover, head cap, outer gloves, head cover, neck cover, gown, eye goggles, inner gloves, and then N95 mask. Or letter B. Shoe cover, outer gloves, head cover, neck cover, gown, eye goggles, inner gloves, N95 mask, and your head cap. Or letter C. Head cover, show cover, outer gloves, neck cover, gown, eye goggles, inner gloves, then N95 mask and the head cap. Or letter D, 
N95 mask, then shoe cover, the outer gloves, the head cover, the neck cover, then the gown, eye goggle, inner gloves, and then head cap. So, which of the following is in the correct sequence of duffing of your COVID-19 PPE? So, take note, when performing removal of your COVID-19 PPE or duffing of your PPE, always remember your keyword, the glogagoma. Ulitin ko, glogagoma. Glow for your gloves, ga for your goggles, go for your gown, and ma for your mask. So first, remove and dispose shoe covers at station. Then after removing your shoe cover, walk to the hot zone exit. Then number two, remove your gloves. If two pairs of gloves are worn, take off only the outer pair glove. Okay? Then leave the inner pair until all the other PPE is removed. Then number three, remove the gown and assume that the front and sleeves of the gown are contaminated. So, turn the gown inside out. Ulitin ko, turn the gown inside out. Then number four, remove the eye goggles and or your face shield. And number five, remove your mask or your respirator. And take note not to touch the front of the mask or respirator as it may be contaminated. So, to remove your uh, mask or your respirator, remove it by pulling the bottom strap over the back of the head followed by the top strap without touching the respirator. So, unahin po natin yung ating bottom strap. Then, remove the inner gloves if two pairs of gloves were worn. Then, number seven, perform hand hygiene immediately after removing all personal protective equipment or Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water or the use of your hand sanitizer with at least 60% uh, ethanol content. So, yun po yung ating keyword for your removal of your PPE. Okay, ulitin ko. Una yung ating shoe cover. Next is yung ating gloves, yung ating outer pair of gloves. Then, the gown. Then, the eye goggles or the face shield. Then, yung ating mask. Then, pinakalas yung ating inner gloves. Okay? So, yun po yung ating sequence for your removal of your PPE or your duffing of your personal protective equipments. So, yun po yung pinaka-sequence po natin. Okay? So, para mas matandaan po natin, we have your glogagoma keyword. Okay? Gloves, goggles, gown, then the mask or the respirator. So, for your question number two, the correct sequence of duffing of your COVID PPE is letter B. First, remove your shoe cover, then next the outer gloves, then the head cover, the neck cover, the gown, eye goggles, inner gloves, N95 mask, and your head cap. Next, question number three. How should an N95 mask be put on and taken off? A. Put the bottom strap on first and take the bottom strap off first. B. Put the top strap on first and take the top strap off first. C. Put the bottom strap on first and take the top strap off first. And letter D. Put the top strap on first and take the bottom strap off first. So, ano po daw ang unang ilalagay at unang tatanggalin the strap sa ating N95 mask? So, kakasabi lang po natin kanina, when, uh, when uh, donning of your N95 mask, you must put the bottom strap on first. And when doffing your N95 mask, take the bottom strap off first. So, letter A is the correct answer for question number 3. So, take note, when donning your N95 mask, number 1 is to hold the respirator in the palm of your hand with the straps facing the floor. And number 2, place the N95 respirator on your face covering your nose and your mouth. Then, after placing your N95 respirator on your face, pull the bottom strap up and over the top of your head and put it behind your head below your ears. Then, number four, take the upper strap and put it behind your head towards the crown of your head. Then, number five, mold the nose piece of the respirator over the bridge of your nose to obtain a tight seal. And number six, always follow the manufacturer's instructions for wearing a respirator. And syempre, number seven, perform a fit check to ensure there is a good seal against the skin. So, kailangan wala po dyan na siwang para hindi makapasok yung ating microorganism. 
So, in terms of duffing or removing of your N95 mask, number one is to pull the bottom strap over your head. While maintaining holding on the bottom strap, use another hand to pull the top strap over your head. But avoid touching the front surface of your mask. Okay? So, ang source po natin dito sa ating PP Dunning of N95 mask is the CDC. The next question, number four, use N95 mask is to be disposed of in A. Red bag B. White bin C. Green bag or D. Yellow bag So, saan daw po natin itatapon yung ating use N95 mask? Okay? Sa red bag ba yan? White bin, green bag or yellow bag? So, according to the Healthcare Waste Management Manual of the Department of Health We have your color-coded trash bags or trash bins So, we have your black, green, yellow, orange and red For the black trash bag, ang itinatapon po natin dito is yung mga non-infectious dry wastes or yung mga nakalabel ng non-biodegradable waste. So, example ng mga non-biodegradable waste or mga non-infectious dry wastes natin ay yung mga paper products or paper waste products, mga band paper, tetra packs, etc., mga plastic, okay? mga recyclable plastics. And for your green trash bag naman, dito naman natin tinatapon yung mga non-infectious wet wastes or mga biodegradable or mga nabubulok na mga waste products. Example, yung mga rate na rate na fruits and vegetables, mga peelings ng ating fruits and vegetables, yung mga leftover foods or mga kitchen meals, mga fish and trails or mga scales. So diyan po natin sila itinatapon. Okay? Then for your yellow trash bag, dalawa po ang ating kulay yellow, we have your Yellow without black band and your yellow with black band. So, ano pong pagkakaiba ng yellow with black band at saka yung yellow without black band? So, yung yellow without black band, dyan po natin itinatapon yung mga infectious pathological wastes. So, example ng mga infectious pathological wastes natin is yung mga used N95 mask, mga gloves, ano pa, yung ating mga swabs at saka yung mga diapers or mga perineal pads na ginamit sa hospital. So, yun yung mga infectious pathological wastes. Pati yung mga nire-remove natin mga cysts or mga organs, dyan natin itatapon sa ating yellow trash bag. Okay? Without black band. Sa ating yellow with black band naman, dyan naman natin itatapon yung mga pharmaceutical or mga chemical wastes natin. Dyan po natin itinatapon yung mga empty bottles ng mga betadine, ng mga alcohol, ng mga formaldehyde, or mga chemical agents na ginagamit sa laboratory. Okay? So, dyan din natin itinatapon yung mga nabasag ng mga mercurial or glass thermometer, at saka yung mapundido mga bulbs or mga ilaw. Okay? At kapag orange trash bag naman, dyan din po naman natin itinatapon yung ating mga radioactive wastes. So, any, uh, any equipment or materials which are used in your radioactivities. So, dyan po natin itanatapon. Pag mga radioactive, that is orange trash bag. At kapag red bag naman, dyan naman po itatapon yung mga sharps natin, mga ampules, mga syringes, or yung mga blades and mga scalpels natin. Okay? So, mga sharps, dyan po itatapon sa ating red bag. Okay? So, yun po yung ating mga color-coded trash bag. So, the correct answer here is letter D. Yellow, okay? So, use N95 mask should be disposed of in a yellow trash bag. So, letter D is the correct answer here. Next, question number 5. What psychological factor are frontline workers most at risk for during COVID-19? A. Anxiety disorders B. Moral distress C. Contracting COVID-19 or D. Poor self-concept So, ang keyword natin dito is psychological factor at risk of your COVID-19 for your frontline workers. So, for your question number 5, the correct answer here is letter B, moral distress. So, acute moral distress is widespread among nurses caring for COVID-19 patients and they are at significant risk of moral injury. Nurses also may experience moral distress and moral injury from working under crisis standards of patient care. These standards include rationing care because of an insufficient number of qualified staff and rationing resources such as PPE, ICU beds, ventilators, and medications. During the current surge of COVID-19, nurses are seeing patients die who could have been saved if they had the proper staffing and supplies. So, nurses during COVID-19 may experience or at risk for moral distress and moral 
injury. So the correct answer here is letter B. Thank you.